we straightened Pharaoh's folk with famine and the dearth of fruits, that peradventure they might heed. But whenever good befell them, they said, This is ours. And whenever evil smote them, they ascribed it to the evil auspices of Moses and those with him. Surely their evil auspice was only with Allah. But most of them knew not. And they said, Whatever portent thou bringest wherewith to bewitch us, we shall not put faith in thee. So we sent them the flood, and the locusts, and the vermin, and the frogs, and the blood, a succession of clear signs. But they were arrogant and became guilty. And when the terror fell on them, they cried, O Moses, pray for us unto thy Lord, because he hath a covenant with thee. If thou removest the terror from us, we verily will trust thee, and will let the children of Israel go with thee. But when we did remove from them the terror for a term, which they must reach, behold, they broke their covenant. Therefore we took retribution from them. Therefore we drowned them in the sea, because they denied our revelations and were heedless of them. And we caused the folk who were despised to inherit the eastern parts of the land and the western parts thereof, which we had blessed. And the fair word of the Lord was fulfilled for the children of Israel because of their endurance. And we annihilated all that Pharaoh and his folk had done and that they had contrived. And we brought the children of Israel across the sea, and they came unto a people who were given up to idols which they had. They said, O Moses, make for us a god even as they have gods. He said, Lo, ye are a folk who know not. Lo, as for these, their way will be destroyed, and all that they are doing is in vain. He said, Shall I seek for you a God other than Allah, when he hath favored you above all creatures? And remember when we did deliver you from Pharaoh's folk, who were afflicting you with dreadful torment, slaughtering your sons and sparing your women. That was a tremendous trial from your Lord. And when we did appoint for Moses thirty nights of solitude, and added to them ten, and he completed the whole time appointed by his Lord of forty nights. And Moses said unto his brother, Take my place among the people, do right, and follow not the way of mischief-makers. And when Moses came to our appointed Trist, and his Lord had spoken unto him, he said, My Lord, show me thyself, that I may gaze upon thee. He said, Thou wilt not see me, but gaze upon the mountain. If it stand still in its place, then thou wilt see me. And when his Lord revealed his glory to the mountain, he sent it crashing down, and Moses fell down senseless. And when he woke, he said, Glory unto thee. I turn unto thee repentant, and I am the first of true believers. He said, O Moses, I have preferred thee above mankind by my messages and by my speaking unto thee. So hold that which I have given thee, and be among the thankful. And we wrote for him upon the tablets the lesson to be drawn from all things, and the explanation of all things. Then bade him, Hold it fast, and command thy people, saying, Take the better course made clear therein. I shall show thee the abode of evil livers. I shall turn away from my revelations those who magnify themselves wrongfully in the earth. And if they see each token, believe it not. And if they see the way of righteousness, 
choose it not for their way. And if they see the way of error, choose it for their way. That is because they deny our revelations and are used to disregard them. Those who deny our revelations and the meeting of the hereafter, their works are fruitless. Are they requited aught save what they used to do? And the folk of Moses, after he had left them, chose a calf for worship, made out of their ornaments of saffron hue, which gave a lowing sound. Saw they not that it spake not unto them, nor guided them to any way, they chose it and became wrongdoers. And when they feared the consequences thereof and saw that they had gone astray, they said, Unless our Lord have mercy on us and forgive us, we verily are of the lost. And when Moses returned unto his people, angry and grieved, he said, Evil is that course which ye took after I had left you, would ye hasten on the judgment of your Lord? And he cast down the tablets, and he sees his brother by the head, dragging him toward him. He said, Son of my mother, lo, the folk did judge me weak and almost killed me. Oh, make not mine enemies to triumph over me, and place me not among the evil doers. He said, My Lord, have mercy on me and on my brother. Bring us into thy mercy, thou the most merciful of all who show mercy. Lo, those who chose the calf for worship, terror from their Lord and humiliation will come upon them in the life of the world. Thus do we requite those who invent a lie. But those who do ill deeds and afterward repent and believe, lo, for them afterward Allah is forgiving, merciful. Then when the anger of Moses abated, he took up the tablets, and in their inscription there was guidance and mercy for all those who fear their Lord. And Moses chose of his people seventy men for our appointed Christ. And when the trembling came on them, he said, My Lord, if thou hadst willed, thou hadst destroyed them long before, and me with them. Wilt thou destroy us for that which the ignorant among us did? It is but thy trial of us. Thou sendest whom thou wilt astray, and guidest whom thou wilt. Thou art our protecting friend, Therefore forgive us and have mercy on us. Thou, the best 